Find a passenger on Barksheim Creek. Find a passenger in Hummingburg. Well, I'm at Hummingburg, so I guess I should get on that first. Although I might have to come back because I don't have the resources to get them yet. Yeah, I hope my next game will be ready soon. I'm going home. Don't follow me. Jeez, okay. <laughs> well, well, well. What have we here? I'm busy, miss. I'm sorry, I'm in a bit of a rush. I'm sorry, I'm in a bit of a rush. Apparently both of you are, which is why you are just standing there. Okay, so... I think I need to be able to... Join the upstairs crew to be able to recruit somebody, or... I need to have the, um, the swimming pool and the garden. So I think I have to go to the other place first, get that crew member, get the thing from them, put it in this shrine so that I can get the double jump. <laughs> hmm. I could go for an amuse boucher. I still don't know what that is. But you can have a hug. Oh, they're hungry. You know I can't eat fruit for the life of me. I've tried, but I just can't. Okay. They were saying before they could eat anything. Thanks, I love it. It is still corn. <laughs> you know when you put something in the oven and it comes back out the same way it went in? about this. That's some ominous water we're charting through. Uh, sorry about the flashing strobing effect. Hopefully nobody is photosensitive.
Ring. Arkansheim Creek discovered. Oops, accidental kitty snuggles. Just clear cut every island I come to. Interesting, this one has like glowy stuff on the trunk. Watch, I get to this person and they're like, I'll only come with you if you didn't cut down all the trees on the island. <laughs> Here, listen, I just dropped a lemon in that pond. My fingers were all sticky. Usually that would mean it would stick to you, not slip away, but okay. It just sort of slipped. Why? Good question. I've been eating delicious berries all day. Look at my hands, I swear. I've been experimenting. I wanted to squeeze a little bit of citrus on these wild fruit. Now it's just berries with no twist. Unless... It's just down there, in the water. I do it myself, but I have these pulpy fruits to take care of. That's the one. I just need to find a tissue or something. I don't want to get berry juice all over it. Never mind. Just hold on to that lemon for me. Don't go and squeeze it. Wait a minute. Maybe you could help me. This island is fresh out of food. My stomach always feels empty. Maybe I could uh, even help out aboard your ship. With cooking, fishing, and building. I don't have my spices and tools, but I'll make it work. Don't think about it so much. Let's just get to your boat. the cat helping so much. Yeah. Well, they do at least form the other half of the saw, if nothing else. And they do manage to somehow keep their side um, levitated? <laughs> oh, wow. This boat is amazing. Here comes the real kicker, you little rascal. Get ready for a family reunion. Oh, again, sorry for the flashing lights. It's me, Stella. Your uncle, Atul. Really? My, my, my uncle's a frog? <laughs> Happily, I hope. I've been on that island for a while now. Can't wait to see the sights, the sea with you. I wonder if uh, the anthropomorphism is just this kind of um, representation of their soul? Rather than a literal aspect of how they were in life? It was lonely with my thoughts. Now, I got you, Sprout. Let's set sail for a great adventure. Onwards. Wait a second. Is... is that... uh... I knew 
late. That is a Seamaster 2000. I've actually never seen it in action. I've only heard the rumors. Apparently you can catch the biggest and brightest fish out there. Wow, Stella. You sure know how to treat yourself. Wait a darn second. You're missing a few bolts. Let me guess. You've been fishing out mostly garbage. Well, not anymore. You'll see the difference immediately. Give it a go for a fan. Oh. Okay, well, so now there's apparently, like, a fishing mini-game involved. Squid! Great success! Great job, Sprout. You never stood a chance. You sure don't mess around. That's what makes you a pro. That this ace level fishing has gotten me all rattled up. Which reminds me, I had this shiny thing in my pockets on the island. I have no idea what it does. Maybe you can hold on to it. For safekeeping, I suppose. Oh, brother. I need to take a breather. Oh, and by the way, it might be curious and... Uh, you might be curious and might have already tried, but yes, the water is very salty. Well, I'll go and take a look around. You can fish to your heart's content if you want. Um, so... I'm wondering if the obols are, um... Supposed to be the coins that would traditionally be placed with the dead in ancient Greek culture. Uh, to pay for the ferryman on the way to the afterlife, because Charon was the original ferryman here, and I believe he is the ferryman across the river Styx in Greek mythology. What's he doing out at night? He's supposed to be sleepy hours. Oh, right, I have to ring the bell. Squid skewer. the picture in the background of me with my kitty. <laughs> You've got two obols. Remember that shrine in Hummingbird? I'd try and add them there. If you're lucky, it might do something amazing. If not, you'll have wasted your time. You should go and see. So, I surmised correctly, it seems. Oops.
Anything. Oh boy, I just love food. Keep them coming. I can't get enough of it. Loves the way rain feels on his skin. Was recently hugged. Has eaten a meal he likes. Just likes nothing. Likes everything. <laughs> Repairs buildings on the boat. Um, harvests wood. Makes planks. Favorite food unknown. Still a quick come here. This is what I call a storm. Any respectable person would never let their friend get hit by lightning. But I think you should try. <laughs> what? <laughs> you have the Everlight. It will protect you. The lightning bolts cast sparkles where they're about to hit. Rush towards those. I almost forgot. Have you got any empty bottles? If you're hit by lightning with an empty bottle, you get a lightning in a bottle. Isn't that bananas? This world. Lightning in bottles are a pretty handy resource, so come here equipped. As a head start, here are a few bottles for you. Don't worry, they're pretty easy to come by. Get ready for the thrill of your life. Okay. Oh. sure this is more bottles than I actually had, but I'll take it. <laughs> oh, the kitty got zapped. <laughs> oh no. check. Fortunately, I am in correct posture at this time. But thank you for checking. Usually I am not. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you were going to make it for a second there. You gave your old uncle quite a scare. Did you feel that rumble? What a rush! You looked pretty awesome catching those bolts of lightning all over the boat. Thanks for being the best captain I could have ever hoped for. Interesting. Roads fish. Oops. Forgot to start cooking the next one. I wonder if I'll also be able to get to the roof of that one building with this. We shall see. Ran past the thing.
the air, press E again to do a double jump. You made it! Wicked moves getting up here. I kind of lied earlier. It's not so great up here. But you're here, so it might get better. I don't have a membership card for you. You'll be an honorary member of the upstairs crew. I'd show you the secret handshake, but I don't know where your hands have been. That's fair. They have been places. Oh, that's locked. Okay. Hello, sheep. Upstairs crew forever. Yes, young person. And I assume you are busy. Of course you're busy. Wait a second. You don't have a full service kitchen. Come back when you do. I have quite the pitch for you. Did you know? Oh, that's apparently outside? Floor gang all the way. Um, so I am curious now if there's a way for me to make it up there. Where that item is. I think there is. Unless I can land on these poles or something. That would be quite a feat. you can land on those. There must be some other way to get that later. It's cute that they give you the option to just have a nice sit at the kitty. What? Oh. Give me such a fright. That cat. He looks familiar. Daffodil? Is that you? Oh, yes, yes it is. Ever so silky, aren't you? Then that must mean... Stella, is that really you? What a fantastic turn of events. And is that your boat over there at the sea? You've come to rescue me again, I see. Well, not so fast. This time, I'll be the one doing the teaching. You can bet on it. Let's get going, then. We have some lessons to go through. Where did you go? <laughs> Citrine. Actually, I wonder how far you can swim off the end of this pier. Probably not very far, but... Nope. Oh. I really love the way that they did the cat's, like, water animation. <laughs> Though too bad for Kitty, they do have to submerge to get off in many cases. Wait. How far can I swim? Can I swim all the way back to the boat this way? I cannot. Interesting.
Over here, little one. Oh, Stella, all this hair, all this open space. Yes, I feel I can grow quite nicely here. Look at me, I'm flowering already. Snack. Oh, getting out of this chrysalis, what a feeling. Thank you, Stella. Well, well. Now, about the garden. Oh, Stella, don't you think your boat feels a bit sad? I'm sure it could use some greenery. As an added bonus, a small garden could serve as a nice classroom. I've been thinking about this teaching thing for a while now. Just a moment, need some water. It will be called Caring for Plants, from A to Z Azalea. Hmm, yeah, it doesn't ring as good as, well, uh, once I said, uh, it doesn't ring as good once said out loud. Maybe I need to work on the name some more. Build a garden. Hmm. What a wonderful little garden. You really outdid yourself, Stella. Well then, that makes us just about ready to start the first lesson. Make sure there are some seeds in these plots. They'll be important. Let's see now. For our first lesson, we'll start with something I've been quite excited to share. This world has some strange rules, as you've probably noticed already. I've always been a preacher for love towards all living beings. For you see, a garden is a vessel of our love, a mirror we hold to ourselves. This seems truer now than ever. Back on my island, when I was alone, I sang to the flowers. And as expected, they grew much more vigorously. Through trial and error, I've managed to write a little song. The plants seem to react particularly well to it. I want to further test that observation with you. Go inside the garden, try planting that... Uh, playing that piece to your crops. Uh, incidentally, I'm actually terrible at rhythm games, so... Uh, forgive me if I'm very bad at this. Does this end? Am I supposed to be backing out of this? Oh, 
Oh, okay, I think I have to press B to cancel out. Have you seen how the plants swayed and grew as you entertained them? Isn't that fabulous? As I suspected, emotions in this world manifest themselves much more vividly. Well, I'll make sure to spread the word of this fascinating discovery. And who knows? Other passengers might know how to play some music too. They might help if in a good enough mood. Hi coach! Welcome! Thank you for joining! Speaking of which, in all the commotion of the last few days, I forgot something. Here, this is for you. This strange coin has been tickling me since I arrived here. I'm relieved it's not one of those pollen allergies again. <laughs> it's okay, Coach. Miyuki is also acceptable. Hungry. Okay. Mood. Okay. Hug. Hug this neck. Aw, you're sweet. <laughs> yes, emo game. Someone's trying to catch me. I'm not actually sure... ...what they're standing around for at the moment. Jurassic Bonk! That's the first time someone's used that one. I have to tell you something. Stella, I didn't want to... Oof! <laughs> I didn't want to disturb you with this, but... For the last several weeks, I've been having strange dreams. They were of a giant snake, and menacing reefs, and of rotten fruit. And since joining you and our crew, well, they've become much clearer. I think it's the air of the sea, or maybe these mystical energies of the Everlight. Anyway, I'm now convinced my dreams have been visions. And furthermore, I think they might be coming from our mutual acquaintance. I've been looking at the map in your cabin. My eyes kept being drawn to a specific spot that I marked. I think we should visit. No point in making it wait. Uh, you're asking if I'm sleepy? Um, I mean, a little bit. I should actually be heading off pretty soon. Because I do have work tomorrow. And I still have to go through some, uh, meds I have to do and things like that before I can head to bed. But I'm going to play just a little bit longer, uh, see if I can at least get through this tutorial. <laughs> oh right, I can't actually navigate right now because it's night time. Book all the things! Rest until morning. And to ring the bell, wake everybody up. You did. 
be good. Now I've got a real boat. Now we've got a real boat going. And you'll have to take care of these new passengers now. They'll be the ones testing your patience, not me. But before all that, I have something to ask you. You might have noticed by now, but sleeping in the guest house is not the ideal scenario for any of us. Especially since it's getting crowded in there. Look, I'm not complaining, you know. You've been terrific up to this point, and it would be terribly rude of me to blame you for anything. But I think it's time for me to have a space of my own. A nice little house, unpretentious but sophisticated, with a cozy vibe. A space in which I could read and unwind far from the turmoil of the deck. Oddly enough, I see something with an alpine flair. See, even I can be filled with nostalgia sometimes. Again, I won't be pushy on this, but I'd be delighted if you could build it for me. New blueprint acquired, Quinn's Lodge. Aw, thank you for the cheer, Kigu! I can't think of anything else but food right now. Uh, well, you haven't had squid before. And a nice hug. You gotta love the sights here. See, the sun, the breeze on my skin. It just feels so right. I'm happy to be aboard this ship. With you, my niece. I wish your Aunt Viv could see you right now. Running your own ship. Helping out these stranded souls. It really warms the heart. I'm glad you picked me up on that island. I'll try to make myself the least cumbersome passenger on this boat. Except for food. I'll never stop asking for delicious meals. Delicious, I had a hankering for this. Froggy hug! Wasn't that great favorite niece of mine? Stella, my stomach is rumbling. Would you have anything to nibble on? Don't know what they like or dislike. Aw, you're sweet. Let's try giving them popcorn. Oh, thank you. I was quite hungry. So they ate, but it wasn't necessarily something they enjoyed. <laughs> Much corn! Here we go, Gwyn's Lodge. Oh, it's too tall. That'll do for now. Achievement unlocked, at least someone is happy. <laughs> Contains all the luxurious amenities Gwen needs to survive on the high seas.
This cabin is outstanding. It really does wonders to have a place of your own. Doesn't it remind you of my old condo in Waverly? Probably the only place where I could get some peace and quiet. Thank you, old friend. I took a look at your blueprint station. It's nice, I suppose, but you know what can make it even greater? More plans, bigger buildings, better pencils. I'm just saying. I'm sure Albert at Albert Shipyard could help you out. Getting a little routine going here. Okay, time to chart a course. Quartz dragon? The heck is that? <laughs> Okay, can stop by some crates along the way. For free stuff. Another squid? Welcome to my new viewers! Feel free to join in and chat, say hello! Happy to have you! <laughs> A bus stop? Um... Why is that just like floating there instead of me having obtained it? Glim bottle. Fancy vase. 